He loves to play with fire and the things he'll do. You can do if you so desire to try this at home with Mr. T. Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. The show that takes ordinary household items like this ketchup packet and turns them into something extraordinary. I know, I've been gone a while. I've read all the hilarious uh, comments and emails and all that about uh, my death and my demise and how um, I'm no longer around, you know, burned up in some terrible fiery crash. But let me assure you, it is me, Mr. G, and I'm here in my kitchen to do another really cool experiment that you can try at home. Today's experiment is called the Cartesian Diver, and it deals with positive and negative buoyancy and pressure, and it's just amazing. What I've got here is I've got a one and a half liter plastic bottle. I've got a 20 ounce plastic bottle that you can also use if you can't find a one and a half liter, or even a two liter bottle would work as long as it's clear. You want to take the uh, label off of it, the cover off of it, or label off of it, take the lid off, dump out the contents of the liquid, and you want to find a ketchup packet, a ketchup packet that floats when placed in water. I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but this does float, let me, let me assure you. Then you want to take your ketchup packet and you want to bend it, fold it down the middle so it makes sort of like a, a tube, and you want to drop it into your, um, into your bottle. And now we want to fill the bottle up with water. And the ketchup packet should float to the top. And I'll try to fill this as quickly as possible. I don't want to bore you. But today's experiment talks about what happens when, when an object has positive buoyancy, as it means it floats, which means the object is actually lighter than all of the water it's displacing. So it takes up more room but, and, but has less weight than the room it takes up than, than the water that it would normally be in its place. Okay, we just about got it filled up here. You want to fill it to the very top. I mean, when I say the top, like overflowing fill it. It's more fun that way. And then it's more fun when we make a mess. Then put your cap back on, like that. And now, what we're going to do is, how do you think I'm going to make this ketchup packet become negatively buoyant and dive to the bottom of the container. Well, let me give you a hint. I'm going to use the power of my mind. Mind over matter. And here we go. I know a lot of you won't believe this, but it's amazing. Ready? I have to really concentrate, so I'm going to shut my eyes for a second and concentrate. Okay, here I go. Catch your packet. Sink to the bottom. And catch your packet. Please rise back. Back to the top. Thank you, ketchup packet. Now sink again, sink ketchup packet. Sink to the bottom of the, bo the container, the bottle. There's our diver, it's amazing. Ketchup, back to the top. But wait, ketchup, stop in the middle and begin to dance. Both down, back up, down, and up again. All by the power, the intense, Brain wave power of my mind alone. Not really. Here's how it's done. There's a little bit of air and ketchup, of course, inside the ketchup packet. A little bit of ketchup and a little bit of air. A lot less air than ketchup, we're hoping. When you find a ketchup packet that floats, usually it'll just barely float. So it's very close to just to just sinking, but but still floating very very light, slightly. The little dot or little little um, bubble of air that's inside the ketchup packet, when you squeeze the bottle, it becomes compressed. When the air is compressed, it takes up less space. Therefore, the weight of the ketchup in the packet versus the weight of the water it's dis displacing becomes greater, and it sinks. If you let up on the pressure, it rises back to the top because the bubble of air inside the packet becomes greater because the water pressure pressing on all sides of the packet are not compressing the gaseous air inside the packet. Compress the air, making it smaller in the packet, it sinks. Release, and it flows. This is a lot of fun. You can win bets with this. You can take this to your favorite birthday bash or to your favorite, you know, over to your friend's house, over to a relative's house. But always remember to tell them that you saw it first here on 
do try This at Home. I sure am glad to be back, and there's going to be a lot more episodes of Do Try This at Home coming up very, very, not very long from now. In the near future, you should see several new releases of Do Try This at Home with me, Mr. G. I hope you're glad to have me back. Anyways, again, the Cartesian Diver. Oh, almost forgot. I made a little version of it in this little bottle, and I drew a face on it. it makes it look kind of scatty. Squeeze and sink. Oh, that one takes a lot more pressure. It must have more air in the packet. Let go and rise. This is a lot of fun, and I sure hope you enjoy today's episode of Do Try This at Home. Have fun, and remember, do try this at home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove this ketchup packet into my bottle of water like that and it should float at the top and it doesn't, it sinks. Well I checked that well, I checked that really well. So I guess, um, well maybe I should check this one while we're at it, that'd be a good idea, huh? Check this ketchup packet and see if it floats. Urgh. Nothing like checking beforehand. Okay, now this ketchup packet floats. That's what we want. But I don't want that one in there. So now I gotta dump all this water out and start again. Oh, that's great. I never thought about how the hell to get out of it. Oh, there it comes. Okay, we're going to start that over. Take two. Water everywhere. The ketchup packet, because it has air inside of it, is displacing more water weight than it actually weighs. That's what makes it float. That's called positive buoyancy. What I'm doing is I'm... Whoops. That was fun. <laughs>